Hello everyone and welcome back to Dongalamba Trigger Happy Havoc. Last episode, we went to the AV room to watch the DVD that Kyoko had given us and we found that it was a, an interview DVD with all of the classmates and they were all talking to the headmaster and the headmaster told them, asked them if they were okay if uh, if they could accept living here the rest of their lives. And they all said yes. So that was pretty weird. And Makoto was in there too. And he was in the video. And he couldn't remember doing that. And then the class trial started. So um, we went to start the class trial. And we found out that everybody was being really, really suspicious of each other. And when we started the class trial, Hero brought up that, like, everyone was, was the mastermind. <laughs> everyone else was the mastermind. And I spoke up about the picture. And apparently Hina had gotten a picture where she wasn't in, in it. And Hero had gotten a picture where he wasn't in it. And Byakuya had gotten a picture where he wasn't in it. Yeah. So we're in the middle of... So it was, it was, Monokuma wanted to trick us um, into being against each other. But we're thinking that there's something else to the photos. So that's where we left off last time. So um, let's get back into it. What is it? What's digging at me? Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. Byakuya's picture. Hina's picture. Hero's picture. And mine. Hmm. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something. Can you just forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that. They went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. W what are you talking about? There's no way. Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. <laughs> so it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable but entirely horrifying reason. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I have to do this stupid thing. Amnesia. Why does it matter? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Ugh, I hate the hangman's gamut. It, it does not make any sense at all. Yeah. 
Does it have to be red? I guess so. Now I understand. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. As if. You expect me to believe <laughs> such an unbelievable occult type story? What? Yeah. We all lost our memories? That's just crazy. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. And there's another way to prove it besides those pictures. Ugh. How? Interview DVD? Yeah. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. So the idea that we all lost our memory is totally stupid, obviously. I remember everything that's happened. No, that's wrong. There you go. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. <laughs> How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The Headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Actually, <laughs> we all said we could even me i heard myself say yes i could spend the rest of my life at the school <sighs> why why would you say yes to something like that i don't know i don't remember a thing the same goes for everyone else nobody remembers you don't remember choosing to live here forever or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? <laughs> that's just insane. How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true. What? I know <laughs> it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Then... I really... Yep. You all totally 
lost her memory at the same time. This is all making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie. You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. But how could someone just steal our memories? How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was <laughs> hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. Hmm. The original motive. The motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? So until we do that, well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So the one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. Ugh, I have no idea. So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course. They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um... What does make me so sure? Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. As masterminds always lurk off in the hmm. background, right? Hmm. Positive there's summer in this school. Otherwise, there's no way they could have controlled that machine. So huh. who did it? Who Whoever did it. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. There we go. No, that's wrong. <sighs> There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. Oh yeah, I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants and all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! What? Why me? Guys! <laughs> it's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed! Oh, I get it! The only way he could have survived is if he <laughs> was actually the mastermind himself, right? Aw, oh, nuts! You got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The Mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. 
That's a good point. Yeah. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? <laughs> but I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. No, nope. <laughs> that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Mukuro's actual cause of death must have been the other wounds. I got it! All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. That doesn't make any sense. Because... Because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So oh, means, but... You know... You're wrong. <laughs> she denied me. <laughs> before I could even say anything. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you think I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. If you're so sure we're going to deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? <laughs> Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been a hot so when you obviously she got all those wounds in battle. Nope. No, that's wrong. Okay, these are pretty easy. No, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. To be denied so completely. Actually, Toko's so weird. Kind of refreshing. <gasps> Maybe it's because of all of Master's training. <laughs> anyway, so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Mukuro's fatal injury has been added to the truth bolt section of your handbook. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. Mm. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who was it that attacked you? The identity of the one who attacked me. I can't think of anyone else. The mastermind. I got it. The one who attacked me was the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me, but I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> what are you laughing at? 
<laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point <laughs> of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? No, there's no way Mukuro is the one that attacked me. Even if I didn't see their face... Mukuro had a very obvious Fenrir tattoo. Comparing that to the mass attacker, it should be obvious. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! Oh. Shoot. Dang. <laughs> Oops. You're wrong. Even without seeing there, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot. Or perhaps the left foot. Or could it be the hips? Hmm. Her most noticeable feature, the tattoo that marked her membership in career, that tattoo was in a certain easy to spot area. Is it the right or the left hand? No. You wound me, Makoto. Words can cut as as deep as any blade you know. You interrupted me while I was talking. One point deduction. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe the right foot. Or perhaps the left foot. Or could it be the hips? You never saw their face. So you uh. I'm telling you now you're wrong. There's another part of the Oh? Is it the or the left hand? Maybe the right foot. Yeah, I'm doing terrible. <laughs> you never Maybe I need to face, take right? So you can't have I'm telling you now you're wrong. There's another part of the Oh? Is it the or the left hand? Maybe the right foot. Or perhaps the left foot. Or could it be the hips? You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. Nope, that's not it. Shoot. I'm so confused. I died. I refuse to give up yet. Hey, <sighs> Jojo. Yeah, I can't look at it. You never saw their face, right? Oh no. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. Oh, I was just uh, okay. You never <sighs> saw their face, so you can't have. I'm telling you now, it was wrong. There's another part of the. Oh, is it the right hand or the left hand? Maybe the right foot, or perhaps the left foot. Okay. Or could it be the hips? You never saw their face, right? I'm tired of listening so to this. You can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was on the right track. It's just. <laughs>
Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah! We were in the gym tearing you apart, so it couldn't have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you, but what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh! No snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me <laughs> what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Her hand. Before anyone could say anything. Kyoko was removing her gloves. Your hands! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burnt skin. It's awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Hmm. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. My scars should suffice as proof. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. <laughs> this is just awful! On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Uh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Maybe it's somebody who... Somebody didn't actually die. When they were punished, maybe they didn't actually die, and they are the mastermind. So that then it doesn't necessarily have to be, yeah. Hmm. Sure. Maybe. As long as it means pushing me farther into I'll the see. corner, right? But I'm not cornered just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Alright, um, yeah, I think, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Because it's this, I've been streaming, I've been recording for more than 30 minutes, so, um, I think, yeah, this is a good, as good a place as any. So, um, I think I might record another episode, though, because I want to try and finish this this game, as I've it, had it on hold for a really, really long time. So, um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please go and check out some other Let's Plays that I've done down in the description below. I've done a lot of other games that you can go and check out, and I plan on doing some more in the future, hopefully, as long at, at least my Twitch streams. Um, so if you want to see any of that, you should subscribe if you have not already. 
I'm also on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you want to go check out my social media. And I've been streaming on Twitch for a few years now, so um, if you want to come hang out while I play games like these, you should definitely go check it out. And I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.